Hi, welcome to MC University On Demand. My name's Eric, I'm one of the design engineers here at Matthews, and today we're going to do a general overview of the Pinnacle Lite software on an AccuDry machine. We'll take a look at the Pinnacle Lite ribbon, and we'll explain the features of each of the six chapters found on it. Let's get started. Pinnacle Light is the standard control offering provided on Matthews Company grain dryers. This software enables the user to monitor and control the dryer from the HMI on the remote cabinet. The user will navigate through various screens using the ribbon on the bottom of the HMI. This ribbon allows for quick access to each of the six chapters of Pinnacle Light and is present on every screen except for the screensaver. There will be many values showing on each screen, some of which are read-only and some that can be adjusted by the user. Exactly which values can be adjusted will change depending on the operating mode of the dryer, but in general, a white background indicates a value that can be adjusted, while a black background indicates a read-only value. Let's take a closer look at each of the six chapters. First, we'll look at the discharge chapter. If you're not already here, you can get here by tapping the Discharge button on the ribbon. This is where the user will spend the majority of their time, because from here they can monitor infeed and discharge moistures, they can change their set points, and they can see the current discharge speed. From this screen, the user can also control what the operating mode of the dryer is. In this example, we can see that the dryer is currently running in AccuDry mode, indicated by a green AccuDry button. Notice that while running in AccuDry, the Set Discharge Moisture box is white. That indicates to the user that they can tap on this box and adjust that value, and the dryer will work to maintain the number they choose. If we switch to Manual mode, we'll see that the Manual button turns green, and notice that the set discharge speed box is now white. So now the user can control the discharge speed and can no longer control the discharge moisture set point. Next, we have the plenums chapter. From this chapter, the user will see each plenum listed and they can control what the current temperature set points are as well as see what the actual current temperatures are. Along the right hand side, we see the heat cool indicators. On profile dryers, it's very important to maintain these indicators accurate to what you're currently running. The dryer will use this to calculate how it should run. If you need to toggle these from heat to cool, you can tap on the box and it'll change from red to blue. Next, we have the trending menu. From here, the user can see several different graphs that will plot past running data. This is good for analyzing how the dryer has been performing. For example, we can look at a graph of past dryer moisture readings and get an idea of how the machine has been running for the past several hours. The next chapter is the PLCIO chapter. There are several pages of all of the inputs and outputs to the PLC, as well as what their current state is. This will be useful in advanced troubleshooting. Next we have the settings chapter. This is a very large chapter that has several sub-chapters underneath it. From here, we can manage our alarm set points, our operational set points, and even do a sensor calibration. We recommend that the user takes time to become familiar with the settings menu as well as the subchapters underneath before operating the dryer. Lastly, we have our alarms chapter. This chapter provides a list of all past alarms as well as the timestamp that they happened. A green line indicates an alarm that has already been fixed and has been acknowledged by the HMI. If you have a yellow or a red alarm, that indicates a currently active alarm that must be fixed. In our example, we can see that we have one yellow alarm. We can tap on the line to get more information about the alarm, 
we would then go and address the issue that's described and then come back to the HMI and double tap the alarms page in order to acknowledge the alarm. At this point, you should have a general idea of how to navigate through the Pinnacle Lite software. That's it for this video. Today, we've talked about how to navigate the Pinnacle Lite software on an AccuDry machine. We've also discussed how to determine which variables can be adjusted on each screen. If you have any questions or comments or ideas for a future video, you can email us at media at matthewscompany.com. As always, thanks for watching.